Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel and Planet X News. It is March 28th, 2017, and we have an urgent space weather report for everyone. And the situation that we're dealing with right now with this coronal hole is actually going to start causing some very severe upticks in earthquake activity around the globe. After reviewing some of the information very early this morning, we have already noticed an increase in solar wind speed, and this will lead to additional upticks in this earthquake activity. As you can see, taking a look at this coronal hole, it has now stretched all the way into the southern hemisphere of the sun and has joined up with a very large coronal hole that has been at the bottom of the sun for almost a year. Now, this solar wind speed has increased considerably over the last 12 hours, and we're going to be getting into that information here right now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you straight up, we have to record this information coming from these models almost immediately because a few days ago it was uncovered that they are deleting pieces of this data because they do not want us to see it that was in direct relation to the solar wind speed that hit 2.5 million miles per hour and battered our planet now what we're looking at here is the magnetosphere. This is the Z-cut solar wind velocity. Once again, as you can see, the length of these small black arrows, they will increase in length during high solar winds. If you look down below and follow my cursor right here to the lower right, you will see a color key diagram. This will show you the intensity of the solar wind. Normally, we want to be in the light blue and in the middle area where it is green. As you can currently see, the solar wind speed and velocity is picking up. There is absolutely no doubt about that. We are now starting to feel the effects of the solar wind. This is the computer-generated model of the magnetosphere. This is the Y-cut. This is our magnetic field. Now, once again, we have to record this information almost immediately because they are tampering with all of this data. Now, what you're looking at here, you are clearly seeing that the magnetic field lines of our magnetosphere are being interrupted. There is absolutely no doubt that we are in the beginning stages of, once again, our planet being pummeled with all of the radiation, all of the solar wind, and these heavily charged particles coming from that massive coronal hole in the sun. And ladies and gentlemen, you know, the reason why I put together these reports it is so you can clearly understand what is happening in the inner solar system. This is very important to human life. These conditions are detrimental to everyone, every living and breathing creature on this planet. Now, what you're looking at right now is the radiation belt of electrons, and this is radiation that is surrounding our planet as we speak. Now, once again, normally, you see the color code key right here to the lower right where I'm circling it with my cursor. Normally, we want to be in the dark blue, light blue, or the green. Now, you can clearly see that we are being enveloped once again by heavy streams of radiation. This is not good. This is not good at all. Now, after reviewing a lot of the data that is coming in, we are only in the beginning stages 
of receiving these effects from the sun, and I'm, I'm referring to this massive coronal hole. There is a high possibility that this could last for the next 72 hours, possibly going into a five-day period. And that is normally what happens with a coronal hole that massive. And we're going to be looking right now at the real-time solar wind speeds. If you follow my cursor, we're looking at the purple line near the bottom. And this is the actual solar wind speed. Now, you can see back here, it was very, very low. And we've seen a very steady increase over the last 24 hours. Now, the solar wind speed is hitting 1.8 million miles per hour. And this is definitely not good. I am forecasting that this solar wind speed will definitely increase over the next 12 to 24 hours. And we will have a daily space weather report for everyone. And we will have this report every single day, as long as we are under the threat of the solar winds coming from large coronal holes on the sun. Now, what we're looking at here this is a predictor model, and once again, this is the solar wind coming from the sun. Follow my cursor, you'll see the sun in the middle, and this small sphere here is the Earth. Now, what we're looking at here, once again, this is all color-coded, very easy to read. This area of dark orange and red this is impacting our planet as we speak and we will be in this solar wind stream for quite a long time at least until april 2nd so once again if you can limit your time outside and in the direct sunlight that would be fantastic we do realize that we cannot live like hermits and sheltered all of our lives. Unfortunately, we are going through these situations right now in the inner solar system. So we're going to keep track of all of this. The ultraviolet rays, the UV index, once again, has not dropped. It is at a level that is extremely high. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, it is off the chart. Off the chart. So once again, if you are spending any time outside, I don't care where you live on the face of this planet. I don't care if you are still in winter time and you're buried with six feet of snow. The ultraviolet rays will affect you there is absolutely no doubt. The ultraviolet rays are impacting the entire planet. So, if you are going outside and you have to spend some time outside, try not to have your skin exposed to these ultraviolet rays. If you have to wear a jacket, a thin long sleeve shirt, possibly a hat, and sunglasses. Because this has not stopped for several months. There is just no doubt that our planet is literally under siege from what is happening to our precious sun. So we will keep track of all of this information. So every day, make sure that you, caught, you stop by and you visit the Nibiru channel and Planet X News and check out this space weather report. Now, I was referring to the uptick in earthquake activity, and this is just um, one map that we look at for the earthquake activity. There is not one website that you can go to and look at all of the data for earthquakes. You have to go to several. As you can see, uh, one thing that does worry me is there was a magnitude 5 earthquake 
on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there is a major fault line that runs straight up through the Atlantic Ocean. And whenever we start seeing these earthquakes on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge fault line, it kind of throws up a red flag. Now, there was an earthquake kind of out of the norm 52 minutes ago in the state of Tennessee. As you can see here, the state of California, I'll go ahead and zoom in, we're starting to see very distinct patterns of earthquake activity all along the San Andreas Fault. Once again, that is very, very alarming, especially when we are in the midst of this increase in solar wind speed. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not familiar with the solar winds, it's actually not a wind, but it is a stream of particles coming from the sun. They are able to penetrate all the way through the earth, all the way down to the core of the earth, therefore increasing pressure and temperature, which then leads to an uptick in volcanic activity and earthquake activity. As you can see here, looking at Alaska, once again, we're starting to see very, very distinct patterns of the earthquake activity. Now, we're going to go ahead and move over into South America. Now, not all of these earthquakes are being listed. They are having many, many earthquakes every single day. The earthquakes for Mexico all along the Western Ridge, these are not recorded on this specific site. However, the country of Mexico on the West Coast, they are getting earthquakes in the magnitude in the high threes and fours every single day. Now, I can show you this information on Mexico, but we're going to move over here to the Ring of Fire. Once again, not all of these earthquakes are showing up on this map. However, 11 hours ago in Japan, we had a 5.6. In the Philippines, a 4.7, and the Northern Island in New Zealand, a 4.9. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be very honest with you. There is credible evidence out there that's being uncovered daily by several YouTube channels that cover earthquake activity. The earthquake activity and the magnitude of these earthquakes are being downplayed. They are being lowballed. They are trying their best to keep the information dealing with these earthquakes below a magnitude 5. Why they're doing this, I can't answer for these people that work at these seismology offices across the globe. All I can say is it's just a very disgusting thing to do especially when people rely on this information and trying to get the word out to at least alert people that this activity is occurring. We all know the destructive damage that an earthquake can produce. Not only cracking the earth and causing shaking and rattling and buildings to be damaged, but they also have the ability to create tsunamis. We all remember what happened in Sumatra and the loss of 250,000 lives. Once again, our planet is under direct threat from what is happening to the sun. Please stay tuned. Make sure you catch this space weather report each and every day. If something occurs, within the next 12 hours that we see a considerable increase, I will immediate, uh, immediately, immediately report this on the Nibiru channel and the Planet X news channel. Make sure you are subscribed to both channels and make sure you have your notifications set up so you can receive the information. And ladies and gentlemen, as I always say, stay updated, stay informed, and stay tuned. If any of you are interested in prepping supplies, emergency food and water, you can visit one of my associates, foodforliberty.com. Their link is in the description box under the video. Most importantly, make sure that you are subscribed to the Nibiru channel and Planet X News 
so you can stay updated and informed. And I would also like to thank you for watching and subscribing to our channel.